Guangzhou, southern China, a city of over 15 million people, with enough food for a lifetime, home of Cantonese cuisine and dim sum. This is where it all happens, and I came here for one reason only, to eat. This place is a food lover's heaven, and I'm here, I'm gonna try my top seven dishes you've gotta try in Guangzhou. Let's check it out. Let's go. Let's start off with number seven. A fish skin salad that locals line up down the street for. Just look at this. This is super unique. Freshwater fish skin is boiled and mixed into a salad bowl full of soy sauce, onions, cilantro, ginger, sprinkle some sesame, some peanuts on there. Boom. You Piro, fish skin. Oh, let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, it's like slimy and crunchy at the same time. And there's a strong sesame flavor in there, and there's a strong cilantro flavor in there. Wow, this happens every time. And now on to number six, Cheong Fen. This is rice flour water that's laid down over a cheesecloth and covered in seasoned beef, pork, or shrimp, and steamed. Then it's peeled off, rolled up, chopped, and covered in soy sauce. It's juicy and to die for. Try that out. Mmm. Oh. You can taste there's a bit of pork and shrimp flavor mixed throughout there. The rice flour noodle is, is quite gooey and soft. Mm. Number five. This famous chicken dish in southern China is best with some side dishes, like fried rice noodles with beef or a bowl of sweet red date spare ribs. This chicken is whole. It's boiled in seasoned water before being submerged in cool water to give its skin a nice and firm texture. Oh, look at the skin on there. Apparently that's the secret. I'm gonna dip it right in that garlic onion sauce. Oh yeah. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah. The chicken is really smooth. That's probably the oh, that's probably the softest chicken I've ever had. And now a true classic for number four. It's found on nearly every street corner. Roasted fatty honey barbecue pork, aka chasha. This is next level heaven. Look at that. Oh I I I I can't speak, I just have to try it. Look at that fatty roast pork, barbecue pork. Oh, it's it's like dripping with with goo. Wow. It's like sweet and barbecuey and fatty and lean and crispy and soft. Oh, that's heaven. Top three, hole in the wall noodles. You can't go wrong. The best I had was a bowl of beef brisket noodle soup for breakfast at a packed out hole in the wall. Get a nice piece of beef and noodle in there. Oh. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. That beef is almost a little tangy, a little sweet and salty. It has a nice kick to it. And those noodles are handmade. Oh. Number two was insane at a Cantonese seafood restaurant. The selection of fish here at the legendary Hongqing restaurant made this spot feel more like an aquarium than a restaurant. They had everything from some rare and controversial foods like crocodiles, snakes, water beetles, chicken testicles, coral groupers, turtles, and shark's fin soup to some more common seafoods like Boston lobsters and Alaskan king crabs. I have a beautiful Alaskan king crab here. I'm at the most insane seafood restaurant in Guangzhou. It's like an aquarium. It's like a, it's like a fish pet store almost. There's so much crazy stuff here. My mind is blown. We're gonna have an Alaskan king crab, okay? Let's check it out. Oh my God. Shit, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. It's huge. Look at this, this is a huge high class feast at a Guangdong style seafood restaurant. I've got an Alaskan king crab, it looks amazing. I've got xiu mai here and a ha gao dim sum. Look at that, let's just break that off. 
Oh, God. That's insane. Oh, it's dripping with juice. Oh, take me home, baby. Mm. Wow. This garlic dip is actually a little peanutty. Now we're finally here at number one. You knew it, it's dim sum. The dim sum in Guangzhou is legendary and worth the flight alone. I sampled enough dim sum for four people, each dish bringing me closer to my dim sum heaven. I am beyond excited right now. I have a huge dim sum breakfast feast here in Guangzhou. Where to begin? I am probably gonna go for my favorite right away. This is hagao, which is basically like rice flour dumplings wrapped in shrimp and pork fat. Oh, oh look, at, look at that sticky rice. Oh, and <laughs> how? Mmm, make a way down. Wow. Okay, so this is lotus leaf rice filled with egg yolk, dried scallop, mushroom, chestnut, and chicken. I'm gonna try that out. Mmm, the lotus leaf, that earthiness, steamed through the rice, and it almost has like this umami mouthfeel to it. It just warms your mouth. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please, please leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Whatever you want to say, I just love hearing from you. If you really liked it, you could share it with your friends too. Thanks again, and please leave me a comment.